All right, this is 2142 uh, Finney um, here up the road, about five minutes. I'm gonna kind of give you a little tour around the neighborhood and the street here. Definitely quieter and I'd say a little nicer neighborhood. Um, you got this blind turn coming down the hill if you're turning but just something to note, you're turning right into this driveway. Uh, it's a bit uh, blind for people coming down the hill. All right, so this is the side of the house. Looks like we might be able to throw a car in there. Also a little bit older siding. Looks like our gutters are newer. We aren't connected to the street. Um, it looks like water is just kind of coming down the hill in here. Which is where you want it to go. Um, but we'll have to pay attention to the back of the house as well. All right, north side. You got newer windows on top. Single pane on the bottom, in that basement. And we got gutters that are connected again, so that water's probably just rolling down the hill there. I noticed this coming up the hill. This says fuel oil. Um, back in the day, um, I don't know if you've heard of this before, but there used to be uh, gasoline powered heating. And essentially they put a bunch of tanks in the ground and as gas does over, you know, time, and these tanks, they rusted out and the gas leaked everywhere. Um, so this property may still have a gas tank on it, which is fine as long as it's decommissioned. Um, but that's something that uh, should definitely be looked into uh, if we're interested in this one. So we're on the east side of the house now. This siding actually is a little newer, although it looks older. It's a cement fiber. Um, it's actually one of, that's in my opinion, the best type of siding. I've never seen it in this shape before though. Um, looks like somebody punched a hole in the bottom there. And then this looks like it used to be a crawl space to the basement that they didn't quite fix and you can see a bit of the older siding underneath it so this might tell me that this siding they just threw over the top of the old one and called it a day yeah i'm seeing evidence of that here on the side as well so that's that's okay but I don't like what that could potentially mean as far as why. Like, that might have meant that water got in there somehow into um, the protective barrier in between. Um, that would be investigated for sure, but that's generally what I see on that. So that's a, that's a big red flag there. This is another situation I don't like. Um, this is kind of like post and pier foundation, but that's sketchy as hell. That's like wood blocks sitting on top of other wood blocks for the foundation. Like, I, I want to end this now. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit further look around the house for you, but the more I see of this, like... Look at that, it's like a wedge. 
yeah I, you definitely should not buy this house um i hope you agree with me and you won't be upset when i end this um but yeah i think that's a that's a no-go in my opinion so i came around the side here and it looks like the part that that that's boosted up on is some kind of addition they did um i don't know if you can yeah you kind of can't see it from this video but you kind of have like sagging of that main beam there and then you got insulation that's been torn down probably by raccoons or rodents so as i mentioned earlier um i don't recommend this one um, but I am going to finish the tour anyway, just so you can see more, um, and just get a better idea of, of kind of maybe more things that I can point out to you, um, of what we're looking at, things to look for, um, if you didn't really like the first one we saw today, which was really cool. Um, so, uh, here's the rest of it. We got, uh, deck that looks like it was painted in the last year but I don't feel real stable on it um, it's also sloping slightly oh, I guess you can see that at least I hope so yeah you can see the old cedar siding that they went over the top of in this little entryway here. All right, coming in the door, we got some visible settling here um, with LVP. Really bright room, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I suspected a lot of this based on its location on the hill and the water. There, there wasn't enough drainage behind this house to properly move the water around it towards the street um so i suspect we're going to see a little bit more of that all right leaving the living area going into the kitchen nice updating in here a little bit smaller newer appliances um, but I don't know if you ever cooked next to a refrigerator and had nothing else to put, no other else to put your, your stuff, but this is, that's looking like a pretty rough setup. It does look like it has some venting though, which is nice. This is actually a butcher block, uh, countertop, which is really cool. I thought it was laminate, but that's actually real. And then you got a big old light fixture there. Skylight. Looks like it's been painted. Um, usually I see signs of leakage. I don't. So this tells me this is newer and it was done right. So that's good. I'm leaving the kitchen now. Heading in to this kind of bonus room. Um, I don't know, I don't think you can see it as well in the, the video here, but definitely feeling the evidence of that main beam in this room, kind of pushing me down to the right. All right, coming back in, this would be considered uh, bedroom number two. So it has a closet. Coming out of bedroom number two into the main bathroom. We got a vanity that doesn't look anchored to the wall. Maybe it is. A um, little bit of updating in here, which is nice. Um, tub looks like it's about 30 years old, but they updated the faucets and, um, 
the knobs and then they changed they cleaned up the back the backsplash of the tub there but you can see they went over the top of it and didn't really fix the part uh, underneath so you got all that water build up kind of coming down the side here as well door handle is from the 40s and 50s that's actually kind of special you just use this screw here and you take it on and off um, don't find a lot of those anymore so that's kind of cool all right this is what i would consider the master it's about the same size as the other bedroom and this is your closet so smaller than the other bedroom um, and you have this nice sheet instead of a door all right kind of wrapping up inside that's the only spot i see the settling other than the bonus room um, it's not as bad as i thought it was um, but down underneath this we may have uh, a lot more worrying things um, yeah, that'd wrap up the inside here. Oh, one more thing I just caught. This is the southeast corner, or I'm sorry, the northeast corner of this living room. It looks like they did some painting over, but there might have been some kind of separation of the drywall up there. Um, it looks like they kind of covered it up all the way down. Okay, uh, wrapping up on this one. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't buy this and I don't want you to buy it either, to be honest. If you really love it, we can talk about it. Um, long-term positives of this property, looking beyond what it is, uh, you got this, you got the water out there. It's really peaceful. It's a nice neighborhood. This land might be worth something, um, in the next 10, 20 years, but this property is it's, it's had its day and and the upgrades they've done are trying to cover up uh all all of the the things that are wrong with it so um yeah thanks for thanks for watching if you still are um talk soon